If you own a Maytag refrigerator, you may have experience, or have been bothered by a buzzing noise coming from behind the unit. Several consumers, who have purchased Maytag side-by-side -side model MSD 2756G, have reported a strange buzzing sound coming from their refrigerator. It is also not uncommon for the problem to be heard from the freezer as well. The first step to understanding your refrigerator is to learn each of the parts. This can be done by looking over the manual that usually comes with all Maytag refrigerators. You can also get troubleshooting tips from their website also. It should cover Maytag refrigerator buzzing noise. Fixing the unit may not require a repairman or expensive service call. The problem may easily be fixed with a little time and a Maytag refrigerator manual. The buzzing sound may be caused by the motor trying to start up again to cool either the refrigerator or the freezer. A simple compressor adjustment may be all it takes. If it requires something more serious it is best that you seek help from an online resource. You may not be able to rid yourself of the buzzing noise altogether but there are some things that will minimize the sound. If you get underneath the refrigerator you will see the coils at the bottom. Check to make sure that they are not blocked or dirty, this will cause the Maytag refrigerator compressor to sound louder because it is working overtime. If it is dirty, clean it thoroughly and the buzzing should lessen if not subside. Another way to solve the problem is to let the compressor cool down completely by shutting the unit off and letting it sit for a while. Sometimes when you do that it almost restarts the compressor and will do away with the Maytag refrigerator buzzing noise. Another possible problem is the start capacitor and the start relay. By giving it a higher voltage or changing the setting it gives the compressor more energy to shut on more quickly, doing away with the buzzing noise. Try these simple troubleshooting methods before contacting someone. You may find that a little troubleshooting goes a long way.